Lindsay, thank you. 633 on this Monday. Let's get an update now on the breaking news out of Northern Virginia. A woman is dead after being struck by a fire truck responding to a call for service in Fairfax County. Our Randy Ayala has been on the scene for about an hour now gathering information. Randy, what do we know at this point? Good morning. Yeah, good morning to you, Annie. So in the last 15 minutes, uh, police have cleared this section. They've opened up uh, Glade Drive. It's been shut down since about 2.30 uh, this morning, and that's when that woman uh, was hit and killed by the fire engine. We were here uh, earlier when police had this entire section shut off. We'll show you some video from there, but here's what we know so far about this. Uh, police and fire were responding to Glade Drive and Laurel Glade Court here in Reston uh, for a call about a woman walking in and out of the road. Police say she appeared to be in some sort of all altered state and needed help. Uh, the person who called 911 waved them down and that's when the woman was hit. The woman who was uh, walking erratically, the woman who they were here to help. Uh, we know that firefighters immediately got out. They tried to save her life. Uh, she was taken to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. Now we heard from Lieutenant Cur uh, Curry earlier this morning. He said he believes the fire truck had their lights on, but that will need to be confirmed throughout this investigation. We know it's very early into this investigation at this point, but he also commented on just how dark it is on this road. Take a listen. Anybody that's been up to Reston before knows knows how dark it is. It's part of uh, the allure for people that live in Reston, part of the community that makes it so great, so unique. Um, there are street lights on Glade Drive here and certainly a street light near the crash where this occurred. All right, so again, we're only hours into this investigation. Fairfax County Police plan on giving an update later on this afternoon. We'll, of course, share that with you. We also know that the woman's uh, family has yet to be notified, so police will have to do that as well. And a lot of questions here. Did police have their lights on? Uh, did the fire truck have its lights on as well? So we're hoping to learn more uh, during that update this afternoon. Annie, I'll send it back to you in the studio. Tragic story out of Reston, Virginia. Randy, thanks for that update.